I'm Melech Michaels, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the Kesher of a Shorosh, in particular the Dalad Kesher. Now there's another Kesher, the double Dalad Kesher, and for that we'll do a different video. So I'm going to put the tefillin on the table like this, and I'm going to stretch out both, ritsu, both of the straps, both of the Ritsuos, so that you can see how one goes perpendicular and one goes down. Now, the most important thing is not to make the most common mistake, which is to think that this one, which is going perpendicular, has something to do with loosening and tightening the source. It has nothing to do with it. The only thing that matters is this one. Now, the thing to understand about it is that this right here it makes an S shape. It goes in and it comes out and then it turns down here and then it comes right out here and then it turns back down and you have an S just like this. Now, that means if I wanna make it bigger, or if I want to make it smaller, first thing that I'm going to have to do to make any adjustment is I'm going to have to give myself some room to get my fingers in there, whether I want to make it bigger or I want to make it smaller. And you always have to start out saying the shame kedushas tefillin, that you're doing this for the sake of the tefillin having kedusha on them. So. The shame Kedusha's tefillin, I am now going to make myself some room right over here. Now, you might be able to see how it's an S shape a little bit better. It comes up, it goes down, it goes here, comes here. Now, let's say I wanted to make it smaller. So what I need to do is feed some of this through this way and then up this way. And then it helps to have something like a smooth pliers that I can stick in there and sometimes get with my, you know, my finger on it, or sometimes since it's smooth, never use one that has teeth on it because you'll make marks on the Ritsuos, but something like this, I can just kind of pull up like this. So now I have lots of room to work. And look, I've done nothing with this one. This just stays where it is doing nothing. Now. I want to make it a little bit smaller, so I'm going to, I've pushed it down, and now I'm going to pull up, so I'm getting rid of some of the Ritsua that's over here. Now I'm going to cinch it down, and now I can use this Ritsua over here, which I told you not to touch, but now I just need to tighten it up a little bit like that, cinching it down, and then I need to pull down over here. And now I have now made this Ritsua smaller. Now, when you make the Ritsua smaller, you're going to have to also move the Ritsua over in this type of Kesher in order to make it into the, in the middle. Now, if I want to make the Ritsua bigger, I'm going to do the exact opposite from what I just did. First, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab right over here and gently pull this out, being careful not to mar the Ritsua, only using my, my pliers that don't have teeth on them. Then I get my fingers in there. And I make myself some room. And then I pull down here. Why am I pulling down here if I want to make it bigger? Because I need to get a little room over here also. So now I have room up here and I have room over here. So now I can pull down from here. And I'm pulling this in. And I'm making it very big right now. I've now made this Kesher to be a quite large Kesher. And now, of course, I'll have to adjust it again and move it over. And here it is. Now it's centered. And let's see how 
how big it is. Let's see if it's as big as I think it is. Yes, this, Ritsu, this Kesher is a little bit bigger than my head. As you can see, it goes a little bit above the hairline right over here, or wherever the hairline might, ha might have been. So this Ritsu, for a person of my size, it would need to be made a little bit smaller. So you can tune into our next video on the Kesher that's the double dollar coming up soon. Thank you.